welcome to future dr neat academy for the problem solving session in neat physics topic chosen today is from chapter 1 of 11th standard units and measurement and today is not problem solving session problem questionary session that is seven questions will be showered in this session and next session we will see the solution for this question let's move to question number 1 the value 6.63 into 10 power minus 31 j into s is dash a option planck's constant b green's constant c force constant d stefan's constant that is you should know the value what is this for this you should know the value for all these constant planck's constant green's constant stefan's constant by knowing the value you will find the solution for this question let's move to question number 2 unit of permittivity of free space epsilon naught is dash a coulomb per newton into meter b newton into meter by coulomb square c coulomb by newton into meter square d coulomb by newton into meter square you should know the value for permittivity of free space epsilon naught also you should know the formula okay by knowing this only you can find a solution for this question let's move to question number three taking into account of the significant figures what is the value of 9.99 meter minus 0 0.0099 meter a option 9.98 meter b option 9.980 meter c option 9.99 meter d option 9.901 meter here you should know the meaning or definition for significant figure then by using that idea only you can find the answer for this question Let's move to question number four. In an experiment, four quantities A, B, C, and D are measured with percentage error 1%, 2%, 3%, and 4%. Quantity P calculated as P equal to A cube into B square divided by C D percentage. Then error in P is you should know the formula for error percentage. That is the error value for A power n into the product over division. For that, if you know the formula for error, then you will solve this answer. Let's move to question number five. If force F, acceleration A, and time T are chosen as a fundamental quantity, then find the dimension of energy. That is A, F, A, T, B, F, A, T square, C option, F, A, T power minus 1, D option, F, A power minus 1, T power 2. That is, you should know the uh, uses, application of dimensional formula. Using that idea, you can find the solution for this question. Let's move to question number six. Dimension of stress or dash. M L square t power minus 2, B M L power 0 t power minus 2, C M L power minus 1 t power minus 2, D M L t power minus 2. Here you should know the first formula for stress. What is stress? Okay. And then using that idea, force and area like that will come. And you should know the formula, dimensional formula for force, area. By simplifying that, you will solve this question. Let's move to last question. Which of the following will have the dimension of time? A. Refractive index. B. Poisson's ratio. C. Relative density. D, the gravitational constant. So, here you should know the actual definition for this refractive index Poisson's ratio relative density gravitational constant. By using this idea, you can solve this question. Thank you, students. In next session, we will see through problem solving session in this chapter.